Namaste. Namaste. Hello. Welcome to Korea. Um, thank you for your time today for this interview. Um, can you please introduce yourself? I'm Gagan Malik from India. I'm the one who has been acting for the last uh, 20 years in many TV series and some of the movies also. And one of the most prominent movies that I have done was made in Sri Lanka. Mm -hmm. And the name of the movie was Sri Siddhartha Gautama. And I was blessed to play the part of Sri Siddhartha in that movie, which was hit ever for Sri Lanka. And it was shown in many countries and won many awards, even by uh, United Nations uh, Day of Vesak also. It won many awards. So I'm in Korea right now, just to, for the first time in my life, and I'm really loving the Kanara. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank you. Um, so you mentioned that you're a well-known actor and model in India and recently appointed as the chairman of the India branch of the IIDA. And I believe this trip is connected to the works of the IIDA. Um, may I know what the purpose of your visit is this time? Uh, as I was appointed as a Indian president of uh, IDA, that we call uh, International Interchange uh, Development Association, uh, the job of this association is to do some kind of the exchanges between the two countries. Mm -hmm. And I have seen that India and Korea if you see the people, they have a great love for each right. other right. as a human being, as a country. From very, uh, as you see the history, when very past, like they love each other. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking in terms of Buddhism, in terms of culture, in terms of education, in terms of jobs, so in terms of business, mm -hmm. there should be some kind of a strong exchanges that should start soon in a bigger way. Mm -hmm. Me, being a Buddhist ambassador, I would love to start something related to Buddhism. At the same time, mm -hmm. I want to do something regarding the cultural events also. K-pop is very famous even in India yes. and all over the world. <laughs> and Bollywood also famous in Korea and yes. all over the world. So why can't we do some kind of a collaboration in there? Mm -hmm. And I also want to bring people from India to Korea to mm -hmm. see this beautiful country to increase the tourism of Korea and somehow Korean delegation to India too. Mm -hmm. So this is the purpose of uh, bringing these two beautiful countries yeah, together yeah. and strengthen the bonds between these two countries. That's great. Um, because last year, you know, uh, Korea and India, we celebrated the 50 years anniversary of diplomatic ties. So, you know, your works um, culturally and religiously, I think ties in beautifully with the beautiful friendship. Yes. Great. Um, so, as you mentioned um, earlier, you know, you are a well-known Indian actor as well and won the Best Actor Award in the World Buddhist Film Festival organized by the UN for your role as Prince Siddhartha in the Sri Lankan Sinhala film Sri Siddhartha Gautama. Um, I understand with this karmic relationship, you even entered a short-term ordination in Thailand. What made you decide to do this? Uh, right after the movie, Sri Siddhartha, I accepted, I embraced Buddhism. And to be a complete Buddhism, my master told me and I also believe that it is a duty of a Buddhist to propagate Buddhism, mm -hmm. to spread the teachings of the Buddha, to spread them. So to understand the teaching in a much deeper way, I was thinking to become a monk because in Thailand you can be a temporary monk, you can do that practice. To learn it more deeply, the Dhamma of the Buddha, I decided. It, was, it took me long because you shave off your head, you shave <laughs> off your eyebrows. It takes time to grow. That yeah. for six months, eight months, I might not be able to do any kind of acting work. Right. So I have to make a schedule like that. I went there to become a monk just for 15 days. But I got so much love from the people there, so much respect from the Thai people that it got increased. They didn't want me to leave it. And even I didn't want to leave it. I went to the forest, I did meditation practice, I learned the in a deeper way. So when I will learn it, it will be easy for me, mm -hmm. after experiencing it, to teach to the people, especially of India. Mm -hmm. So it gave me more strength also, personally, to be a better human being. So there was a great change mm -hmm. after that monkhood. So I wish, oh, let's see how the things will go, maybe you never know. After a certain point, I might decide to be in monk forever. Oh, wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> um, so uh, with the short-term ordination, you know, it impacted your life greatly. 
Um, and, but you also, it's been conveyed that you converted your religion from Hinduism to Buddhism. So what does Buddhism mean to you? Uh, to me, Buddhism, uh, how to explain it? Uh, okay, I will give you an example. Sometimes and in the rainy season, mm -hmm. when you drive your car and you have some water drops in the windscreen of your car and you use the wiper to clean it mm -hmm. and so that you can see everything clearly. Oh. That is what Buddhism is. Oh. When you are somewhere else, the things are not clear. Things are blurry. So Buddhism gives you the chance to wipe it and make it very clear. It is the most scientific way to live your life. And I think this is the only way where you can reach the nirvana, where you can find a way, find a path to end your suffering. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's more about practicing. It's more about experiencing it yourself. It's more about being your own master with the, you know, the very simplest way of teaching. Five precepts, eightfold path, noble truths. If you really learn them or understand them and start practicing them, your life will take a 360 degree turn. You will understand what is happening. Mm -hmm. So I believe uh, it was a very good decision for me and I did it with my full happiness, by my heart, by my mind and I'm living it. To me, the core of Buddhism is to live in full awareness or mindfulness mm -hmm. And to live in present, like living in present with mindfulness. Right. That is the core line, according to me, is about Buddhism. Wow. Thank you so much. That was very impactful for me to learn as well. Yeah. Um, so after the ordination, you expressed your vow to contribute to propagation, fostering and developing Buddhism. Um, can you share with us some of the most impactful or various activities that you have been involved in? See, uh, I have shown the movie mm -hmm. in the different parts of the different countries. When you say, uh, uh, in the special temple network, like the past, we doesn't have the cinema or theaters. We have went to the deep villages to show the movie of uh, the life of the Prince Siddhartha, spoke to them on the Dhamma. Even in India, Vietnam, Australia, Singapore, like many Buddhist countries, we have shown this movie that was there. But I was thinking how to create a bus, how to create more awareness about Buddhism in our country. Yes, Dr. Ambedkar revived Buddhism in 1956, but we have to keep rotating the wheel of Dhamma. Mm -hmm. So I was reading about King Asoka. So mm -hmm. I saw that he has made uh, 84,000 Buddha uh, stupas in his time. So I thought, why can't I tried to donate 84,000 Buddha statues to my country. Mm -hmm. We have thousands of temples in India, very small, tiny temples, but they don't have a proper statue to worship. So I became a monk, thanks to the beautiful country Thailand. I love it. It's like my second home now. Mm -hmm. I get a lot of love and I have a, love, a great love for Thailand. They supported me for this project very strongly, even Vietnam also, but Thailand was very strong in it. And they donated me thousands of statues. Mm. Like I'm talking about the big statues even, right. like six feet high, like yeah. 100, 200 kilos of statues, like, you know, it much bigger than those two. And we have got the statues from Thailand and distributed in India. And approximately, uh, if we consider small and big both, we have donated up to 20,000 statues already in already. India and uh, people are very happy about it and continuously mm -hmm. we are doing Dhamma talks, we are getting the Thai monks from Thailand on Sri Lanka, uh, Cambodia from different countries to come to India and then I'm taking Indian monks also to mm -hmm. these countries to mm -hmm. learn more of uh, Dhamma in a correct way, in a disciplined way. I Recently, last year, which is one of the biggest event that I have done, I got 100 monks. They walked 600 kilometers in one month wow. from one place to another and ended up in Mumbai and with the Buddha relics from Thailand. And you could not believe, uh, approximately, if we calculate in one month, 
more than 5 million people have taken part in that yatra. Wow. And on the final day, final day in Mumbai, 500,000 people at least were walking on the road. Kilometers you can't see the road. That is the awareness that we have brought. Mm -hmm. And that is what we are trying. That is why I am in Korea now. Korea is a very high-tech country. Mm -hmm. So maybe in some kind of a collaboration being done, I think we can spread Buddhism. As I said, if the channel, your channel can be collaborated with India, BTN mm -hmm. India. So I think it will be wonderful because we don't have a strong Buddhist mm -hmm. channel up till now. It must be there. So these are the things I'm trying to do. There are many other activities through uh, my cultural activities and these kind of things I'm going to do. And I think that is the way I'm propagating Buddhism in my country. Well, as you know, um, BTN is the representative Buddhist, um, Korean, uh, Korean Buddhist uh, broadcast. And, you know, we have a very close connection with India as well. Um, as I mentioned, um, we have a good relationship with Dr. BK Modi, who produced the uh, Buddha series. Buddha series. Um, we've been broadcasting that as well, and um, Dr. BK Modi, he's scheduled to visit Korea next year for our 30th um, anniversary. So, hope you can join us at that time as well. Yes, of course. I really uh, respect him for the work he has done for Buddhism for the past so many years, and uh, he's a great man. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely, it will be an honor for me to come and join that, and uh, I wish and I believe the target is now more than anything is to bring awareness about Buddhism. Yes. So I would like to request BTN to have one BTN India and I will give everything to make it happen. Thank you very much. You. <laughs> um, okay, so for um, final question, yes. can you please give a special message for all the viewers of BTN? Tell all the Korean people that Thank you very much for a great honor and I love South Korea. It was a great visit for me and the message that I would like to give you that if we talk about Buddhism, we can't be just a Buddhist by certificate. We have to be a Buddhist by practicing Dhamma, by practicing, practicing the teachings of the Buddha. Once we practice, then we become a real Buddhist. Thank you. Um, I really look forward to a long-lasting friendship between BTN, Korea, and Korean Buddhism. So thank you very much for your time.